Hi friends, hope you are doing great. Today we are going to encrypt or decrypt a phrase using Caesar cipher methodology. Um, we are going to use simple functions in Python to do that. Um, Caesar cipher methodology is a uh, method where um, we can use a key or shift for uh, encrypting a, a phrase. So for example, if the shift or key that we are going to use is three, then A will actually get shifted by three uh, bytes and will become D. And similarly, B will become E, C will become F. And in that is uh, that's the way it gets uh, encoded or encrypted. And for decrypting, it will go in the backward direction with the same shift or uh, shift that is being provided in this case D will again become a for uh, decrypting so hope this makes sense and i will attach uh, give a link in my program that will make more uh, sense about this um, um, encryption or decryption so in in the uh, to start with i have created a alphabet list for lower and upper cases and uh, a blank uh, Caesar cipher Python file and in the lower case characters I have given A to Z twice and in upper case I have given uh, upper case letters A to Z twice mm, this is to ensure that uh, when we are shifting um, by five characters and it hits Z uh, then when it, uh, it will go it may result in index out of boundary uh, when we shift uh, beyond Z so to avoid that we have given the uh, list of characters two times because the index key index function of list will actually return the first occurrence uh, of the um, element and it won't bother about the position of the second occurrence so uh, this helps to uh, avoid index out of bound um, uh, error so let us now try to get the inputs from um, from the user so i'm going to print a greeting I'm going to request a uh, user for um, uh, text to be encrypted or decrypted and uh, shift uh, or key that we need to use for encryption or decryption and also whether we are doing an encode, uh, encryption or decryption. So th these three choices we need from user. So let us try and get those um, details. We're getting the direction and now phrase. And also the shift. Let us define a simple um, uh, function that will take care of doing all this, and uh, we will and we will call it as Caesar cipher. And we will pass the va values like uh, uh, like uh, text to be in encrypted or decrypted, and uh, uh, the shift, and also the direction so now we are going to uh, define another uh, string value for uh, storing the decrypted value
and we are going to look through the text that is passed and see whether um, what is the position of each of the character in our alphabet list and uh, then shift the use the key to shift the position so let's look through for better uh, in or share in start start text we need to ensure that uh, the character is actually an alphabet if it's a space then we won't be doing any encoding and when we will just pass it through through to the uh, end text so if sign of get underscore lower or sign of get underscore upper only then we are going to actually uh, do the shift so for doing the shift we are going to um, get the position of the care in the um, in one of the lists now uh, we can actually uh, for encoding we can actually add the index by the amount of shift but for decoding we would have to subtract the uh, index uh, by by the shift amount so uh, we can actually um, change the direction uh, even before start getting into this loop by using the um, direction value passed So what am I doing here? Actually, what we are doing here is, if it is, if we are actually decoding, then we are actually converting the key uh, direction. Instead of plus, we are making it as minus. So for decryption, we are going to go backwards and we are changing the uh, direction. Uh, so instead of plus, we are making it minus, which will make sense in a minute. So we are going to update our position. Um, so now, if it is a, a encryption, the position value, um, which is the index value from the um, alphabet uh, list, uh, is going to be incremented by the key key value. Uh, if it is a decoding, then it will be decremented or subtracted from the key uh, from the position. The key value will be subtracted from the position to get the new position. So now we are going to uh, check if. Uh, uh, the character that we are dealing with is an uppercase character or a lowercase character for that we are going to use the string function so this is a string function which will return true if the character is upper so if it is an uppercase then we our we are going to use uh, alphabet underscore upper for encryption So if the value passed is not a character, then we are just going to move it to the end text without any encryption or decryption. So and that's all. We are we have successfully encoded or decoded our code. So we'll go ahead and print print out uh, the decoded value. So now we will just try and run our uh, run it to make sure that everything is working fine. 
for that we are going to first make sure that we are calling the function with appropriate uh, parameters or arguments so caesar cipher of the first argument being star text star text equal to um, text and uh, second argument being key key is going to be shift and third argument being direction value is actually direction so we can actually uh, our uh, our the star text equal to key equal to and direction equal to and just give text shift and direction and which would be a positioned arguments here we are using keyword uh, arguments so that the keywords are actually mm, being used even if we change the direction based on the uh, keywords that are um, specified uh, it will still pick up and uh, the position doesn't uh, position inside the, mm, the call doesn't matter so um, before running it, we will just try to ensure that we yeah, enhance our display a little bit more by clearing up the console first. For that, I'm going to use uh, pull in the uh, import the OS module and use OS dot system of um, you know, system command of CLS. And then I'm going to print welcome to my scissor and decrypt tool. And also, I will try and put uh, get the logo, logo printed. Um, for that, I will try and get the ASCII, ASCII art from uh, Google Chrome. I'm going to use the logo. In my program now let's try and run see how it works so we are going to type encode for encrypting And type in hello and five, and it's written, it has been successfully written MGQQT. So let's close. Okay, let's try and run the program now. So it has cleared up the screen. Welcome to my Caesar Cipher encrypt, uh, decrypt tool. And uh, Caesar Cipher has come. I'm going to try and try and encode. Hello. Shifting five. What's the error? So it says uh, I have a typo uh, which I need to fix. So I have instead of yeah. So I have fixed my typo, and now we will run it again. So, hello, five. Okay. So, encode. And uh, hello, five. So, Yeah, as we know that H is a upper character and it is not present in the um, lower character uh, alphabet, so that it has thrown an error. So here also we would have to do an if else, if else condition to uh, evaluate the respective. Str care dot is upper. Then we are going to get the position from 
upper index else only then only else you are going to get it from lower now we are going to encode Doing the hello and shift by five Encode hello right. in the QQT and we will run, run it again. Decode in the QQT 5. So this looks good. We can try one more example. Then code my name is John 5. You got it uh, phrase let me copy this and try it one more time to decode the same phrase that we got before Good phrase hi my name is john so the encryption and decryption are working as expected so we let us just uh, put this through in loop so that user can um, decide when to stop so for that we are going to uh, declare a boolean field and uh, assign it to true and we are going to use while loop and we are going to check for this boolean val field value and, and we are going to put uh, all this code inside the while loop and we are going to prompt user uh, to tell us whether he wants to encode more We are going to turn and mode of loop and print current bar. So let's try and run it again. Um, going to save my program and run it again. So we are going to encode the classic hello world. A five about mjqqt btwqi is the encrypted value and i want to decode this so i uh, enter just to encode or decode so yes and uh, now we have to decode the value that we got before by five and we got the hello world so hope you guys enjoyed this video have a great day